We have been given this graph of f of x, here as shown from uh, 1 down and across and then up to 3, 2. And we're being asked to sketch the graph of f of x plus 2 and secondly the graph of f of x minus 2. When we add 2 on to the function like this, it is a stretch of positive 2 in the y direction. So this first function will give me this point here goes up by 2 to there, this one goes up by 2 to there, this one goes up by 2 to there, and so in other words I get exactly the same shape of graph but physically it has been moved up the y-axis by positive 2 units. In a similar way with this one here where I'm taking away 2 from the f of x, it moves down by negative 2. So this point here at 0, 1 becomes the point here of 0, negative 1. This point here translate down by 2 units and this point here translates down by 2 units to there. So physically it's shifted down the axis and this becomes f of x minus 2 and our first question was to add 2 and physically it moves up and this sketch here is f of x plus 2. So we have f of x plus 2 is our pink curve here having moved up the axis 2 units, this one having moved down the axis by two units. Okay, Marie, so let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own, so I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself, but what we want to do first is get all of these x's together, so can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. So, 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done.